Here is present. I hand you cup of life noodles. I hand you Mr. Saturn coin. I no hand you my stag beetle. Oh, tease you. I have no something. <laughs> I love these guys' dialogue. It's crazy. And it's also crazy. Did I mention that was crazy? I don't think I did. Well, I will promptly throw one of those gifts on the ground because it's useless. Uh, let's throw the stag beetle away. And then give the Mr. Saturn coin to Paula. Because that raises defense by, I believe, 30 or 40. Um, and also luck by 8. So Paula can benefit from that. You can see I sold her red ribbon, so I took care of that. Uh, next, off screen, I did some sleeping with Jeff. That sounds awkward, but I had Jeff sleep. And after sleeping, actually once, he repaired his... Uh, if I can go to his weapons. He repaired the broken laser into the laser gun, which raises his defense by 12 over the magnum air gun. So let's equip that, and then, uh, let's look at the inventory. This is what it's looking like. We have two cups of life noodles, a bunch of peanut cheese bars, two PSI caramels, and a bottle rockets off out of the cargo pants pocket, since I assume that's where Jeff keeps them. We also have a couple defense sprays, and a big bottle rocket, which I might use this episode, plus a bomb, and the HP sucker. Let's see, what else can I do? Uh, actually, I think that's it, but I need to go outside before I can do the last thing I need to do in preparation. Actually, let's go this way. In preparation for going to Milky Way, which is the fourth Your Sanctuary location in the game. And we'll be visiting that and clearing that out this episode. But I need Escargo Express to uh, arrive here pretty soon. Come on. Come on. Where is it? I called it a while ago. And still not here. I really need Escargo Express. Um, Escargo Ex Maybe it doesn't show up when I'm on the second level. Let's... What? Escargo Express. He... 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 I just, uh, <laughs> couldn't find your location. You must be somewhere really strange. <laughs> uh, uh, I've decided, honestly, that I should give up. I'm out of here. <laughs> Sometimes this happens, you know? Click beep. Really, I didn't know that could happen. Okay, so apparently Escargo Express cannot show up while I'm on the second level, which kind of stinks, but at least it doesn't cost me anything extra to call him. Um, off screen, I also called home because Ness was homesick, and I needed that to be gone because otherwise he'd be missing most of his his bash attacks. So that's gone, and uh, the party's looking good. We are all level. 27, 24, and 24, so we're looking great, and we should be able to progress fairly easily. Okay, come on, Escargo Express. I'm right in the middle of a big empty, so you should be able to find me with relative ease, and you did. Hello, this Escargo Express, you can do the stuff with the stuff. I would like you to take the Magnum Air Gun, since unfortunately, we cannot sell this weapon for whatever reason, so I have to drop it off with Escargo Express. I also cannot drop it, which is weird. Uh, let's see, Defense Spray, no, that's good. That's honestly very good. Magnum Air Gun, yes. Oh man. I always mess up in the menus, and it's honestly embarrassing. Magnum Air Gun, take it. That is it. Yes, it's correct. Goodbye. Leave my life. Thank you. Now, let's just speed on over with the Skip Sound DX. I think this is the best time I could use this. Um, because any other time, I'm going to be running into enemies. So, let's just use that now. Go really, really fast. And get to get back to where I was at the end of last episode. That cave. Look at me zoom. I'm going so fast. Really, really fast. It's actually hard to control. Whoa, baby! Okay, I don't want I don't want those enemies. I, I don't want my speed to last that long, so I just go careening in other enemies. Uh, I can handle this enemy lineup. These are Ran boobs, which are relatively um what is it, Stalhart, I guess, enemies. Uh but they're they last a long time, but they don't deal a ton of damage. So we can just have Paula use fire on them, and Jeff shoot them, and they should be dead fairly quickly. 
In other news, I hit Steven George from Steven Plays with a red turtle shell. That felt really awesome. Um, he decided to, uh, to play with the community. He gave a code um, to a tournament room that he set up, and you had a chance to play with him, and I did, and I got a chance to record it, too, which is awesome, because I uploaded it on the channel, so I got to play a little bit of Mario Kart 8. It was a bit of a random upload, but, eh, I, I, I wasn't... I wasn't too upset that I did a random upload. I don't, I'm not a big fan of just uploading random videos because I feel like it can confuse people who just arrive at my channel. Um, I don't know how many times I've gone to someone's channel after seeing them comment or something and and think, oh man, their content's really cool, but there's no organization at all. They have no playlist set up. They have just completely random videos, so I have no idea what I'm going to be getting if I subscribe to them. And I don't want to be that guy. I want people to know what they're signing up for when they subscribe. But still, I felt I felt like I should upload the video because it was it was neat. It was a cool random video, and I put it under I think I think I put it under the the uh, category of game review. So there there was my excuse with that. Oh boy, are the mushrooms here? No. Uh, this is actually pretty good because if I can bash my way through this enemy, I should be able to skip the rambling evil mushroom, which is right next to us right now. Because he will mushroomize us, and trust me, you never want to be mushroomized. Let's just finish him off. He's de dealing decent damage, and I'm a bit worried for about Jeff, but if I can speed past this battle, then I should be a okay. Let's just speed past. Come on, yeah! That's how you that's how you play Earthbound. Let's have Ness heal up Jeff. Oh, and that reminds me, uh Ness got or sorry, Paula got a new ability last episode. She got a PSI Magnet Omega. I'm not sure if I explained this, but I'll explain it now. For the PP cost of zero, it will drain two to eight points of PP from every enemy and add it to your own. So it's identical to, to uh, PSI Magnet Alpha, except it does it targets all the enemies on the screen. So there's literally no reason why you'd want to use Alpha over Omega. And they both cost zero, so like I said, no reason why you'd, you'd want to forgo that pleasure. Okay, let's not fight the Ramboob. I don't like fighting Ramboobs. I mean, I honestly don't fi like fighting any enemies if there's a chance that Ramble and Evil Mushrooms will come to those enemies' aid. But there are no Mushrooms in sight here, so I feel like I can make this fight last in relative safety. Let's just bash this guy into the ground and proceed onward. So, I, I talked about a little bit last episode about episodes that I would like to do, talk, um, or not episodes, but let's plays that I would do in the future, and I, I wasn't able to touch upon one thing, and that was, um, I, there are some let's plays that I simply won't do because it, they've been done before. Um, like, I guess a good example would be Skyrim. So many people have played that Let's Play that game that, though I would love to play it on the channel, I wouldn't be bringing anything new to the table. And once again, this is incredibly incredibly random for me to bring up, but I feel like I should to expound on what I said last episode. Um, there are other Let's Plays, like... I guess Super Mario RPG. That's kind of a classic that, hap that most Let's Players um, get around to one day or another, and I'll probably do the same thing. I'll probably play it one day, but... It's it's one of those let's plays that everybody has done. Let's see. Uh, coin of Slumber is almost identical to the Mr. Saturn coin, except I believe it gives a slightly worse stats, defense stats. But I will give it to Paul, or sorry, not Paul, Jeff, because I think he'll benefit from it more than more than Ness. Okay, Jeff, you can have the Coin of Slumber. Yeah, that's that's a sizable increase, so he can have that. Other Let's Plays that... Oh wow, we're already to the Your Sanctuary... Really? Really? We're, what, eight minutes into the episode, and I'm already to the Your Sanctuary location boss. Wow. That's... Okay, let's... <laughs> let's fight the boss then. Let's make sure I'm healthy. And I am. Uh... <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh wait, did I not equip the laser gun? I just need to make sure of that. Okay, I did. Okay, just making sure. Because that, that could have been bad. You finally got here. This is the third year sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. 
trillionage, spr trillionage Sprout and his cohorts, the tough mobile Sprout A and B. Uh, starting off, you I think that it's in your best interest to use um, Rock, uh, not Rock and Flash. It has a 50% chance of hitting and connecting with Trillionage Sprout, and I think that those odds are something I would like to do. Next, it is weak to fire. So I'll have Paula rolling out her strongest fire attack, PSI Firab, and Jeff can immediately hit it with my big bottle rocket. This is what I was saving it for because the Trillionage Sprout has a type of status ailment that we have not seen before. He can diamondize your party members, and that essentially makes them unconscious, but they are, they're technically still living, but they cannot do anything, so they're technically still unconscious. So you could consider diamondization as an instant death attack, which is not something I'm a fan of. So I want to end him before he can even get a foothold on me, or <laughs> get some roots down, and use my big bottle rocket to hopefully end his life before his life really begins. Big Bottle Rocket connects and does 600 damage to Trillion and Sprout, and he does a lot of damage back to me. Let's see, what what action did I have Nest do? Nest did Flash. Oh yeah, that's right. And we made the Trillion and Sprout start crying. Good. Now, the crying is not too good against Trillion and Sprout because if you consider that his strongest attack is the Diamondization, uh, you're not really worried about his Bash attacks. So, uh, that's... Yeah. That's that's kind of worrisome. I'm not really that really didn't accomplish much for in my uh, for my cause, but it still helped against the tough mobile sprouts because they they have bash attacks and they will do some damage. They can chip away very easily. Uh, let's see. Let's have Jeff use. Let's have him use the hungry. Or uh, I want to kill the hungry HP sucker for some reason. But let's have him use the HP sucker on Trillionage Sprout. And it didn't work on him. Of course it didn't. But this did. Hopefully, yeah, there they are. The, the tough mobile sprouts are gone. Good, they're out of my life, and Jeff is now maxed out. Oh boy. Oh. That that was his diamondization move, and it did not work on Paula, thank goodness. It doesn't have 100% chance of working. But that could have been bad. Uh, hypnosis does not work. Paralysis also does not work. Shield I could use, but I don't really care about shield. Uh, I don't really need that to happen. So let's use Rock and Beta, since Ness has nothing else to do in this. Actually, no. Let's have Ness, Ness Bash, since I think that would be a better course of action. Then we'll have Paula continue to use PSI Fire, and Jeff continue to use... Uh, let's have him use his... No, let's let's use a Bottle Rocket here. Yeah. Trillion Sprout. Die this turn, hopefully. Yeah, he actually did. Wasn't too hard. And thankfully, he didn't Diamondize me. I think it's because I'm slightly over-leveled right now. Ness's level's now 28. Oh, baby! Offense went up by 4. Defense went up by 2. Speed went up by 1. Oh, baby! Guts went up by 3. Vitality went up by 2. IQ went up by 2. Luck went up by 1. Sweet! Maximum HP went up by 29. Maximum PP went up by 7. Paul's level's now 25. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 15. Paul realized the power of PSI Thunder Beta. Paul's level's now 16. Offense went up by 2, Guts went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, Maximum HP went up by 1, Maximum PP went up by 5. Jeff's level is now 26, Luck went up by 1, Maximum HP went up by 1. 4 level ups on 3 party members. I would say that I'm officially over leveled right now. And I am level... Well, I'm almost level 30 with Ness at the 3rd Your Sanctuary location. Ness thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, Be a thoughtful, strong boy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. So, three your sanctuary locations under our belt, and the episode isn't done. I reached this location much sooner than I thought I anticipated I would, so we have a lot of time in the episode to do other things, like move on with our lives, and I feel like I should do that. I don't need the magic butterfly because I am now restored to full health, and you guys won't attack me, right? Okay, good. 
I had a feeling that the mushroom might be a troll and still attack me, but thankfully he didn't. Let's move in between them and avoid the enemies if we can. I just I don't want to fight any of the enemies here. There none of them give enough experience. Let's let's go back and come back in. None of them give enough experience to merit um, me taking the risk of being mushroomized. So let's just skirt past all of them with a lot of lag. Oh boy. Can I can I get past these guys? Let's see. Will that work? Yeah, I did it. Close. It was a very close fit, but I did it. So, Saturn Valley is done. We're moving on to who knows where. Let's go. You may be wondering, where to next, pal? Well, in my infinite wisdom, let me may let me condescend enough to tell you where we're going. Apparently, we're going to death. Ah. Uh, opening attack. I didn't want to do that. I didn't sign up for this. In fact, you know what? I'm probably not going to be able to skate, but I'll try. I did! Yay! Okay, good. We're going back to three, because all the zombies are gone now. They've rid the town of the zombies. I don't know what they did. If they burned them up. Maybe they ate them. I, I have no idea. I really don't care to know. Maybe they buried them again. But, once again, I don't care. Uh, the point is, is that they're gone, and they will be showing our, their appreciation to us for helping them rid the town of evil. How did I get a red swirl on that? He attacked me from the side, not behind. There! Now that I took 40 damage for no reason, I can move on with my life. But yeah, there are a couple things that I missed in Threed. Well, one thing, specifically. Uh, we want to go to the hospital, because there's something hidden in the hospital. So we have to go up, do all this backtracking just to do that. In fact, we have to backtrack all the way to Tucson. Yeah, Tucson to uh, to do what I need to do. So that that'll most of that will be cut out, but it's still important because it will give us a mighty nice item. Then we can progress onto the place because if you remember, there was a tunnel in Threed, and uh, before it was filled with ghosts, just like in Tucson. But now that the zombies are gone, the ghosts will be gone as well, and we can take the bus onto the next city. And this is Threed in its normal state. There are still enemies, uh, but no more zombies. So that's neat. Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have dis disappeared. The buses can get through the tunnel now. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? Actually, I will this episode. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Thanks. Peace. Love. Happy, happy, blue, blue. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? Thanks, Wally. I know you're not Wally, but I'll pretend you are. Alrighty. So, we're the heroes of the town, just like we're the heroes of Earth, and we should... <laughs> we should get a better reward than thanks. We should get, like, props or something. So, let's go to the hospital, because there's an item hidden there, like I said. Circuit's tent still is here. Still here. Are the zombies here? Well, no. Uh, well, I don't know. But the camera guy is here, so let's take our, our photo op, even though he's behind the fence for whatever reason, and move on with our lives. Come on. I, <laughs> time's money. You're wasting my time. Thank you for going. Let's go in here. And the zombies are gone. Okay, so I, I was wondering. It would have been kind of cool if they were still in there and maybe in the cage or something, but they weren't. So the hospital is to the east. Let's see if I can find it. Hospital... This is it, I think. Maybe. It better be it. It is not it. Where is the hospital in this town? Three is so confusingly located or uh, arranged. Like, you, I can never find anything in this town. Is it down here? No. Where is it? Hospital! There it is! The big gray building that is right in the middle of town. Who would have thought? Uh, there's are some drawers somewhere in here that offer an unusual item. Are they in here? Uh, let's go in this door. In here? Ness checked the drawers. There is an insignificant item in the drawer. Ness got the insignificant item. That's what we want, because if we bring that to the hospital in Tucson, we will get an item called the Magic Tuffle. 
And this, besides being, besides sounding like a character or a race from Dragon Ball Z, is a fantastic item. Picture the PSI Caramels times four. It restores 80 PP, and that's an item that I definitely want. So let's go back to. Can we take a bus back to Tucson? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not honestly sure, but I'll, I'll just walk back. So I will meet you back at Tucson. Ah, that was a long walk, maybe four or five minutes, and it's all for an item that I will probably use once because it is a one-time use item. That's how RPGs work. And I'll probably never use it because of RPG syndrome. You know what I'm talking about, where you get this item and you're like, I'll save that for a time when I'll need it, and you never actually use it. I'm in perfect tip-top health now, I just wish I had more visitors. Cough. Hack hack. Cough. Okay, it's not you. Can I check these drawers? No, I can't. Okay, is it you? Let's talk to you. You look healthy, but you spend a lot of the time at the hospital. My story is the same. Do you want to hear it again? I never heard it before, but sure, I'll hear it. Okay, you asked for it. Ready? I wanted to see the circus in Threed, the next town over, but I hurt my leg in Peaceful Rest Valley. <laughs> that wasn't that long of a story. <laughs> Although, he at least made it as far as Peaceful Rest, Rest Valley, although that is a very hard area. My friend who joined the Happy Happy Religion came to see me a while ago. We became friends again. Wait. Where's the guy? No, 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 where? I was promised life and the guy. Is it you? Certainly not. No, 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 no. Where's the guy? Is it you? I can examine each one of you for $30. I don't care. What about you? My shot didn't hurt. I'm sure everyone's talking about it, but don't worry about me. Where's the guy? I need the guy. Is it? It couldn't be you. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. You are not helpful. Where's the guy? I need to find the guy. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I talked to him, and he didn't do anything. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. I'll take the insignificant item and use it. There! There it is! That's like the vaguest thing on Earth. Why would you even think to do that? You just find this random item and you're supposed to go to this one guy in one hospital, which you'd never do, and use it. That's crazy, but it gives you a cool item. You made me so happy. After my life, this is the second most important thing to me. Because you're so kind, I want to reward you- uh, I want to give you this magic truffle. Oh, truffle, not tuffle. It's a souvenir from Scaraba. Ness got the magic truffle. Oh, baby! As the level ups say, I got a magic truffle. Help! A dreamlike delicacy that is said to grow at the base of trees in wet, muddy places. It restores about 20, uh, 80 pp. Oh, yeah! Let's give this to Paula, because she seems to be the person carrying all of the, all of the healing items. Neat! <laughs> so, for walking back, five minutes, you get one item that will help you once, and then you get to walk back another five minutes. Wonderful. Well, let's go ahead and go back to three, and I will not cut the- no, I will cut it out. I totally will cut it out, because why would I- why would I leave this in? Why would I make you sit through this? At long last, I am back in three. And I need to find the bus stop sign. <laughs> I can't hear the tune very well because it's turned down. Where's the bus stop? I need the bus stop. There's the bus. It's a Greyhound bus, but where is the bus stop? There's the bus stop. Let's check the bus schedule. It looks like the next bus will come pretty soon. And by pretty soon, it means now. We are now done with Threed, we are done with Tucson and Saturn Valley, and now we will head on to the next town, Foreside. You know why? Because we didn't name Paula Sally. <laughs> Six dollars for the fare, sure. I'm so glad I had money on me, because that would have been annoying. Interesting thing about the Greyhound bus is, well, first of all, it is the Greyhound bus, because it says that on the side, but also, same with the Runaway 5's bus, um, 
they didn't make two separate sprites for facing left and facing right. They instead uh, just reversed. They mirrored the sprite. So the text is backwards when it's facing left, which is interesting. I'm not going to call it lazy game design because uh, the game design everywhere else is perfect. But, well, except for the menus. But it's, it's kind of interesting. It's a cool little fact that not many people would notice. Drugs. <laughs> Man, that's, that's America, like, now. On the side of the road, it's like, Hey, guys, there's drugs here. Man, it's bumper to bumper. My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to, walk, if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's free country. <laughs> wow, that's, that's an excellent bus driver. He just leaves us here. I feel so sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent. I'm leaving my new car here and walking instead. I'm going to see my girlfriend in Forside. At this pa pace, I'll be a hundred years old by the time I get there. Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. This traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go? Well, just go to behind this cactus. No one will see. I will not look. Don't worry. I'm not that kind of person. Let's go into the place that's, that's called Drugs. Because that seems like the best name for a drugstore. It's just called Drugs. Uh, I don't think I need to even withdraw money because I'm carrying some. This guy carries a Mr. Baseball Bat, which is a good item for Jeff, a Thick Fry Pan, which I have, a Deluxe Fry Pan, which I need, a Coin of Slumber, which Jeff, or er, Ness, desperately wants, so I guess I should be withdrawing some money here. Uh, let's see, how much? I'm guessing 3,000... Menus! $3,000? Maybe? I think that'll be good enough. $3,000. Now let's buy the Mr. Ba... Uh, what is it called? The... Mr. Baseball Bat for Ness. It raises his offense by 12. That's that's a good increase. And I can take my other thing back, and then other things that he can do. Deluxe Fry Pan for Paula. No, that's, that's bogus. That is so bogus. She can totally carry some stuff. Because, like, she's going to be replacing her old fry pan. That's dumb. Well, let's just sell this off. And then get another one. And it raises her offense by... Uh, a lot. Neat. And then, the coin of slumber for Ness, which will raise his defense by... A lot. I, don't, I, I can't do math. Was it like 25? I don't know. $149 for my hard hat, which has lasted a long time. If you think about it, I got the hard hat back in Peace Over Rest Valley, so it's been relevant for a good long time. Uh, also, there's this guy, which also sells things. He has a wet towel, which I'll... I'll buy... One. And I'll buy two. Uh, that cures Sunstroke, which is a status ailment that you can get um, in this desert, which will make you take damage the longer you walk around. Uh, next he has Refreshing Herb, Calorie Stick, Skip Sandwich... I'll buy... I'll actually buy one of those, because it'll be useful for traversing the desert. Then... He has a can of fruit juice, which I don't care for, a uh, picnic lunch, which I have, uh, peanut cheese bars, and a lucky sandwich, which I forget what it does. Then there's this guy, and he runs an inn for $210, but I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested at all. Let's go ahead and deposit our money back in here. No, not the phone. The teller machine. Neat, so we're, we're prepared now. We're prepared to face the desert ahead, because... Even though Foreside is the next main area, it looks like we're going to be stuck here in the desert for a while. So, next time in Pal Plays Earthbound. Oh, it's you. What do you carry? A zip gun. A bottle rocket. I'll, I'll deal with you next time. But next time, whoa! We're going to be going around in the desert, exploring, because there are many secrets hidden here, and I want to uncover them all. There are also mole pl moles playing rough, which posed a threat to Paula some n number of episodes ago, but they won't pose a threat to us next time. So, if you enjoyed this comment, please, uh, or so if you enjoyed this episode, please comment. If you didn't enjoy this episode, comment and tell me I could, how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. And I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound.